Ladies and gentlemen, I welcome you once more to my YouTube channel. If you are new here, touch on the subscription button in order to get a notification anytime we, we upload a new video. Meanwhile, don't forget to like this video. As usual in this channel, we do discuss and analyze latest news that is doing rounds and we also talk about latest events in general. So if you are a fan of politics or if you just want to know what is happening, this is the right place to be. So today so many things have happened first in our country and also in the neighboring countries. In Uganda, <clears throat> Museven is giving Bobby Wine a thorough beating. That's what we call a landslide beating. Hmm? Bobby Wine was hyped to be very popular, but from the results, <laughs> through whichever means, Bobby Wine is getting thorough beating. In fact, Museven is almost win winning with about 70% or 60%. So I, I always say that in Africa is not very easy to dislodge the incumbent. It's very hard to dislodge the incumbent. And I strongly believe that this is the lesson that probably Raila might have learned through all these consecutive four elections. We had election in 2007, which Raila believes he won, he never became president. There was 2013, which Raila believes he won, he never became president. And then there was the 2017, an election that even the court itself nullified because there were so many regularities. Still, Raila never became president. So I think this is maybe the realization that Raila Molo Dinga has learned over the period. And we have new kids on the block, the likes of Akinaruto, who thinks that to be president in Africa is that easy. That we just mobilize people, oh, we are hustlers, and then you become president. Hmm? Uh, it's not that easy, ladies and gentlemen. So that's where we are today. So let me come back to what happened today in our country, Kenya. First of all, in the city hall, Nairobi County, Anne Kananu Mwenda was vetted and sworn in as the deputy governor. It technically means that she's now going to be the governor of Nairobi. So for those who are waiting for by-election in the city, there will be no by-election. Poleni sana. <laughs> Poleni sana. On the other side uh, of the country in Rift Valley, William Ruto organized a very big meeting. I don't know the motive of the rally was to receive uh, Isaac Ruto to the party to order. I don't know because even Isaac Ruto never declared he joined him. I don't know the motive of the rally, but that's also a story for another time. Now back to the Ann Kananu story. There are two groups of people in this our country, Kenya. And this is why I strongly believe that Palemambe Mambo Imefika Kenya he we need a benevolent dictator. Because Kenyans are preaching water but drinking wine. Kenyan politicians are preaching water, but on the other side they are drinking wine. They are drinking wine heavily, while on the other side, they are preaching water. This group calling itself the hustler, these ones, our wanatangatanga everywhere, calling themselves hustlers. These people have been telling us that there is no money for BBI, and that we don't want an ele a divisive election, we don't want contestation, Oh, we don't want money to be wasted. There is corona. There, instead of wasting money, let's give it to health workers. They have been telling us all those good, nice words to the ear. Today, they are complaining that they want a by-election in the city. A by-election that is going to cost more than 2 billion Kenya shillings. And the candidate they want to bring is Margaret Wanjiru. <laughs> eh? To them, 
with the one by election in order to install Margaret Wajiru as the governor. Mm. A lady whose qualification alone or her managerial skills alone is highly doubted and questionable. That's the one they want to bring to the city. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the kind of hypocrisy we have in this our beautiful country, Kenya. And it's good I'm not the president of Kenya. Were I the president, these people, our yote igazia iwangekuandani. You just double, you talk, and then you wangekuandani. In fact, were I the president, there could be no double talk, double speaking. You talk this today, then you talk the other thing tomorrow. If you do that, you are arrested, Danny. So these people have been telling us there is corona. Oh, we don't want BBI. Eh? We don't want contestation. That money you want to waste, give it to health workers. And then now, they are telling us they want a by-election in the city. A by-election that is going to cost 2 billion Kenya shillings in order for them to install Margaret Wanjiru. Somebody they will use to loot the county of Nairobi. Because we know they are looters. The likes of Ruto, Murkomans, eh, all these sacked governors, these people who have been charged of corruption, what they want is they want a gate through which they can loot the city of Nairobi. And their candidate, the, the one they want to use, is Margaret Wanjiro. Very interesting, ladies and gentlemen. So let me tell them this way. <clears throat> William Ruto and your group, you can cheat some people sometimes, but you cannot cheat them always. The people of Nairobi were mechanuka. In fact, very soon you will be talking to yourself in the city. Hmm? Because there is what we call the silent majority in the city. The kind of work General Mbadi is doing in the city is far much better compared to what Sonko was doing in the city. So in, in one way or the other, whether there is a governor or no governor in the city, we don't see any difference. If right now, there is no governor officially, eh? but there is services are just continuing as usual. There is no big difference. Hmm? So we don't want a by-election in the city now. For those who are raring to, to go, eh? yani, they feel they want to compete. It's only remaining one year and some few months. Prepare yourself very well then, 2022. Yote kwa kiwanja. kwa kiwanja and then we vote. And then the person who will win, sawa, atakuwa mechukua. But for now, Poleni sana kuna by election. There is no by election in the city for now. That is that's aside that we are through with that chapter. So while walikuwa na zunguka wakipiga kelele by election by election there is no by election. That is chapter closed. Oh wanalia oh system that's how the system works. In fact we can decide 2022 we can decide is only Raila contesting. What will you do? We can decide. And you will do nothing. You don't know. Hmm? We can decide in 2022 is only one candidate. Raila Moludinga. And you will do nothing. Ladies and gentlemen, we have to be serious. At all he said that thing goes in Yehusi in Ataka Ichunwe. An African, basically, me being one of them, is an uncivilized animal. An African is an uncivilized animal. Ukibembeleza mu Africa, utashtuka. Utampata kwa bedroom yako. So the president should be very firm on these idiots. He watu wanazurura wa meiba maliauma, wanasema the hustlers, the tanga tanga. The president should be very serious and very firm on these people. These are crooks. Hmm? These are crooks who should be arrested and taken to committee with immediate effect. Oh, sisi ni hustlers. Then you are, when you are given a position, you elect all your tribesmen in the cabinet secretary. Unapanga wakale yote, siji chiruchiru, siji kiptuma murkumen, siji keter. Atujasa au 2013, 
ulitufanyia madharau sana all the cabinet secretaries you were given you were appointed your tribes made the challenging then here you are telling us you are a hustler hustler for what hmm? you are a hustler for what then back to rift valley now we saw this man say, calling himself a hustler organizing a big rally in rift valley and during that rally you really abused the president he said categorically clear that president na hiyo kina murado wakae na hiyo chama yao they are in order that's what he said yes you are in order what are you still doing in jubilee if you are man enough hmm? if you are man enough i challenge you walk the talk if you say you may choke na jubilee resign from jubilee hmm? resign join that your own official hmm? or if you don't want uh, mambo mingi sana sema tu mimi nimewacha siasa sitaki mambo mingi nimewacha siasa and then you go home kabisa good reader hmm? but you don't make for us noise here abusing the president today tomorrow abusing the president so let me ask you ladies and gentlemen kama hii watu hata wajapata kiti they have not even been elected the president see the kind of arrogance with which they talk hmm? Look at even the online uh, discussions. Hmm? See how arrogant these people are even on eh, in online. Very boastful. Eh? Yani they are these people are very very arrogant. I just don't know what they, we, they are capable of doing should they win the presidency. People like us will not be talking the way we are talking. Hmm? This is a Museveni in the making. <laughs> Mm-hmm. And it's good that this man is who had a potelea kwa msitu am a very sure about that. Mm-hmm. Then yesterday <clears throat> Baba was in Kiambu County where he met traders of Gidurai. And I was very very happy that Baba has now started what he knows best. Mhm. Unajua Baba alikuwa amenyamaza kidogo hii watu wakadhani mzee kuisha wapi bwana. Mhm. For those who know Raila Molo Dinga Hmm? This is a marathoner. <laughs> you, we told you that presidential race is not a sprint, 100 meters race. No, it's a marathon. Hmm? full mbio yote bwana. Eh? You know you are reminding me of when we were still in school wakati tulikuwa tunakimbia. Hmm? Unapata mtu ame ile ile marathon ametoka bio sui. After about 5 uh, minutes yeye ndio muamsho. <laughs> it's the same thing here. These are the people let me laugh at you bwana mulianza hivi mapema sasa hii hata baba tu kidogo bado anafanya tu tv hivi mumeanza kulia hiyo na bado baba bado anafanya tu tv ndio sasa atulia anze mbio mzuri na mumeanza kulia Gideon Moy in Rift Valley anafanya tu tv kidogo muna nunua vijana yote vijana walali ati wanaongoja Gideon Moy hmm? Hmm? wanafukuza kidon moi kaburu kenge <laughs> antelope eh? if you are confident you are popular in nandi why don't you just let gideon out of good faith eh? afanye mambo yake la ufanye mambo yako raia wa muwe kuona unaweka vijana unanunua vijana to block gideon moi from being enthroned as a talai elder it means you are not as popular as you are cheating the people you are, that you are popular you are not that popular If you are popular you will not even mind utaacha fanya yako fanya yake raia wa muwe hmm? then yesterday <clears throat> we saw some very interesting scenario a group of young men stormed the offices claiming that you owed them some money for the services they rendered i don't know whether you paid them or not hmm? you are using hustlers and then you don't pay them hmm? unanunua vijana kwenda kuheckol Raila Bama then after wameheckol Raila unawacha bila malipo hiyo ni ungwana jamani hmm? you are fellow hustlers you are saying you are hustlers unawatumia vizuri wanaheckol baba vizuri alafu watu yako wanasambaza kwa mitandao baba heckled baba heckled alafu sasa wakati wa malipo you don't want to pay them is that fair 
That's bullshit. Others, ladies and gentlemen, let me leave it at that. Don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you are a new face or a new person here. Thanks for now.